Kim Jones, welcome to another edition of Reaction Times. Today we're here at Marosa Motorsports Park for the Hot Rod Magazine's Power Festival. And no, this isn't my car, it belongs to Heidi Molinex, another super comp racer, and you're going to see her on the show along with many others, so stay with us. Brown, owner of this micro van. Freddie, this used to be a toy, right? Right. Tell me a little bit about it and how you came up with the concept to make it into this little micro van that okay. it is. It's, uh, it was, originally was a kid's toy. It was built somewhere in the early 70s. We figured around 1973. And uh, my brother and I have always been into hot rods. And I used to race go-karts for about 10 years. And one day I was on the phone and I said, John, I'd love to find a fan body and mount it on a go-kart chassis. And I never even knew anything like this even existed. And he called me up a couple days later. He said, Fred, I found one. I said, you're kidding. He says, no. He says, it's in the bargain trade. Some guy in Miami's got it, and I'll give you the number. I didn't even see the picture. I just called the guy up. It's a Spanish guy, and he had all these Chevy emblems on it. He said, hey, it's a Chevy van, man. It had a big Chevy bow tie in the back. And I'm kind of a Mopar fan, and I looked at that thing, and I looked at the window lines. I said, that thing is a Dodge. And I've already a had a Dodge van before. And, um, so I gave him 150 bucks. It had originally had a three horse Bricks and Stratton motor in it. It was a uh, little kid's go-kart. Your head would stick up on the top. Brought it home, I let it sit for about a year, didn't do anything with it, and, and I thought, no, no, let's let's go to town. So found a good fiberglass guy, we redid the body, painted it all up, got a Lexan windshield, cafe bike mirrors for it. These are bolt louvers here on the uh, on the side. Oh yeah. So I needed it. some peripheral vision because uh -huh. my head's down in there. So a little hodgepodge of this and that, and uh, you know, like I said, I used to build models, and I'm I was an art major in college, so I was into sculpting. Uh huh. So I guess you could call this a, a mechanical sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> now, Tom, how do you fit in this thing? And when you see it out on the track and the size, you're a very tall, man. What are? How tall are you? I'm almost six one. Six one. Right. It's like. It doesn't look like you could fit Nobody in it. imagines it, yeah. Yeah, so are you scrunched up in there? Or? As a matter of fact, I'm quite comfortable. When uh -huh. I sit in there, it's kind of like a lounge chair, but my knees are actually higher up than my shoulders. Oh, God. So when I'm driving, I'm looking just right over the top of the steering wheel uh -huh. and between my knees. So it's kind of like tunnel vision. And what kind of motor are you running in it now? Uh, I started with a 100cc motor with single speed, and uh, I needed something I could do, like little parade rides, and, and I. You know, this engine, the first engine I had picked out at uh, 17,000 RPMs. Oh, my God. And uh, it was just made to go fast. Uh -huh. So I pulled that out and uh, bought a 125, and the configuration didn't work with the van. So I ended up, a friend of mine said, go with a 250. So I found a 250 dirt bike. It's a Honda CR250, 89. Uh -huh. and, um, That's funny. I've got a good uh, fabricator. Bud Reed Engineering, and uh, he's done a lot of work on it, amongst other friends that have helped me out with it. And uh, did a great job. He did the wheelie bars, some of the roll cage, motor mounts. We have a little parachute in the back. Parachute's functional. Uh -huh. We got through uh, uh, Simpson Race Products. Uh -huh. And uh, in fact, as a matter of fact, today we're going to try it out for the first time since it's a oh, new so shoot. Oh, you're going to pull the We're going to try it, right. I've got part of my pit crew. we got my daughter down at the other end of the track. And, uh, oh, we're going to have to. When are you pulling them? Right now or this next pass? Uh, next, This next pass. Okay. We're going to give it a shot. Hopefully it won't deploy before we get down to the end of the track. But. Now, how fast is it? It's pretty quick for a little. Pretty quick. Our best. <laughs> our best. Speed has been uh, 92 miles an hour. Wow. Uh, uh, we ran here uh, a little over two weeks ago. We ran a 13.4 at right at 90 miles that. an hour. Yeah. So uh, but we've got a little taller tire, so I can hopefully get a little more top end out of it. But um, I might lose a little bit at the bottom, but if I get a good clean launch, clutch is kind of tricky. It's, it tends to bog down a little bit at the, at the start. Now, how does it feel driving in this, going down the track? It's got to... It's outrageous. If, <laughs> I, I've been telling everybody, if, if half the people knew what it's like to drive one of these things, they'd be all over the place. I bet you. Well, thanks a lot for talking with us, Freddie. Nice to talk to you, too. Hi, I'm here.
here with Heidi Molinex, super comp dragster, good friend of mine, and our engine builder, Rich Jones. Heidi, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started in drag racing. Well, I'm 27 years old. Uh, I started drag racing when I was 17. My husband built me a door car, and now I have a dragster. Now, how long have you been racing, though, exactly? Uh, nine years. Part? Nine years? Nine years. And this is your engine builder here. You just had a new engine built, and you're going a lot faster than you did last season. Yes, a lot faster. We're going to get in the sevens today. You're going to go what? Seven? In the sevens, sevens today. Sevens today. And your engine builder agrees with that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going 799 easy. Now, tell us a little bit about the engine, and because you just rebuilt the whole engine. So tell us a little bit about what you did to it and what's all in, in it. It's 100 over 454. It's 475 cubic inches. Uh, it's roughly 15 to 1 compression. That's a roller cam and iron uh, Chevrolet cylinder heads. Now, how does it feel knowing that you're going to go seven seconds? Great. It feels really great. I have a great engine builder who also sponsors me, Redline Automotive Competition Engines. And where is he at? Located in Davie, Florida. Florida. Great. Now, tell me, what are your future plans, Heidi? Where do you see yourself going this year or maybe on to the next year? I know you got big plans for your future. Well, this year I'm definitely going to get my advanced DT license, which is the 750 license, and hopefully next year go a little faster, go in the sixes, and I'd like to, by, in the next three years, by the time I'm 30, I'd like to be in top fuel professional category of racing. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Almost in the sevens. Almost there. When we come back, we're going to go to our weekly tech tips with Kevin Sparks and then our junior dragster report with Sean Witherwax, so stay with us. I'm Kim Casey Jones with Reaction Times, and here with me is Quick 16 racer Paul Schultz. Paul's going to test out a quick cool shirt. As you can see, he's wearing it. He's going to make a pass in the car, come back and let us know how it worked. This shirt is supposed to keep you cool with a couple squirts and this Freon in this can under your fire suit in the dead of heat. How was it? It's pretty good. I can't wait for the summertime. This baby gets the job done. Well, if you'd like to enter our sweepstakes, you can send your name, address, phone number, and a daytime telephone number where we can reach you to Reaction Times, care of WINQ TV 19, 1334 South Killian Drive, Lake Park, Florida, 33403. And Paul, thanks so much for helping us test the shirt out. Well, thank you very Champions know that winning means using the best parts. For 30 years, Moroso has powered the world's top pros, sportsman racers, and weekend warriors with over 1,700 race-proven parts. Like Blue Max wires with Moroso spiral cord technology that delivers more spark energy than the others. Custom fit or do-it-yourself universal. Moroso is the ultimate wire set for your car or truck. Celebrating 30 years of performance, Moroso, available wherever performance products are sold. Big Ed, come in for fuel. Do you read me? Come in for fuel. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. Come on, give me no food. I don't want a water bottle. Wow, what a fish. Race on in to the Winner's Circle. Motorsports Bar and Grill. Spend $25 or more and get $5 off the Winner's Circle on Okeechobee and Jog Road. Here, the biggest race of the year at Moroso Motorsports Park, the Pepsi Chevy Show. Presented by Bumper to Bumper, March 13th and 14th. This exciting festival of Chevrolets features for the first time ever the Pro Stock Trucks. Plus an awesome car and truck show. Hundreds of swap meters, a bikini contest, marketplace, drag racing, jet funny carts and dragsters, and the original jet truck. Get your discount tickets at Bud's Chicken or Bumper to Bumper for the powerful Pepsi Chevy Show. March 13th and 14th at Moroso Motorsports Park. Do you feel the need for speed? Do you have the urge to merge into the fast lane of drag racing? Then learn to drive from Snowbird National Alcohol Dragster Champion Doug Foley. Our course is available now through April. Classes held in Super Comp Dragster, Super Gas Full Bodied Cars, and Alcohol Dragsters. It's our second year at our Gainesville Raceway location. It's also the biggest race car rental program in the country. Cars available for five-day bracket racing at Moroso. Call now for information. That's Doug Foley's Drag Racing School. Feel the need.